We've had a very busy morning delivering dogs with the pet taxi. But before we can take a break, we've got one more important stop to find a very special pup to take out for the lunch of his life. So, next we're headed to Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League. So, Peggy Adams, uh, a lot has changed over the years with this organization, and just in the last year, we've opened up a brand new adoption center, state-of-the-art facility that is probably one of the nicest shelters that you'll see anywhere in the country. We wanted this to be an incredibly welcoming environment for the public. So how'd that dog get up there? We <laughs> have so talented much. dogs, they're acrobats. That's so strange. <laughs> and really communicate that this is a place that is full of happy stories and happy endings, and that's what Peggy Adams is all about. So this is one of three play arts that we have here at Peggy Adams. Um, our dogs come out every morning, get to run around and play. We have a nice swimming pool for them. We also have our adopters come out and this is where they meet the dogs. Emily and her dad came yesterday to look at some of the dogs and they fell in love with Petunia. So I woke up this morning and she begged me to come see Petunia for myself and maybe we'll get her. And it's looking like a yes but we'll have to go home and talk to dad about it. We want to make it a cost of experience for everybody, our staff, our volunteers, our adopters. We just want everybody to see that we love the animals here. We want them to find a home quickly um, and have a positive experience while they're here, have a good time. It's always hard. Me personally, I'm very emotional when it comes to this job. So that, I was trying not to get teary-eyed, you know. She was doing so well with the little girl. The little girl was petting her very nicely. I'm hoping they take her home because I think they would be so great together. You know, speaking of that, we're going to do something kind of cool, I think, today, too, aren't we? I, I mentioned that we are here to take a special pet that we meet, perhaps Tommy will pick yeah, up a dog yeah. while we are here today, and we can take him on a little outing, if that's okay to with lunch. you. Yes, to lunch. That's Is great. That we have lots of dogs that would enjoy that, so we'll find a really great dog to, to yeah. send with you Yeah, so guys. as we walk through, we're looking, and we're going to find that special pet. <laughs> Finding that perfect fit, just like an adopter comes through, trying to find that one dog that you connect yeah. with. We encourage the volunteers and the public to come in and give a dog a day out of the shelter, uh, take it to the park, uh, take it to a local restaurant, because regardless of how nice our adoption center is, a kennel is not where a dog should be. You know what, now that I know you guys better, I have the perfect dog for you. He's fabulous, his name's Scrappy. Ah. Let's go find him. Okay. Scrappy's right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check him out. Oh, oh, well, why don't we go outside and get a better look at him? Yes, of course. That face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey. Hi. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take you to lunch. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at all this love. Hi. Oh, all right. Woo. Let's take him. All right. High five. Okay. Come on, pal. I think he knows the way. What do you think? You want help, Scrap? I'll Come help out. you. Up. There we Good go. Good boy. We both got in there. Oh, we both got in there. Yeah. All right, Scrap. Let's do it. Let's get some lunch. We have Scrappy here today. Amazing dog up for adoption from Peggy Adams. We are cooking him up a one and a half pound porterhouse steak for lunch. It's going to be fabulous. Lucky, lucky dog. Scrappy, here is the lunch Ooh. you have ordered and been waiting for, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> and here's even a napkin to clean oh, up so with good. afterwards. Scrappy, we're after the yeah. bone. So anytime we send dogs out, more often than not, they will have an adopt me vest on so that people know that, you know, this isn't my dog, um, but this dog could be yours. Right, Come buddy. on, Scrap. Spread that oh, out. Good so boy. Can... There you go. Are you gonna save a piece for your friends? <laughs> I don't think so. Can I sneak a piece for one of your friends back at the shelter? Right, you get, go ahead and chew it up, buddy. Just one. You don't have to just swallow it. Chew it up. This dog oh. knows how to eat at lunch now. I'm telling you, he is the man. Ralph, <laughs> there it is. Come on, Scrap. I tell you, I think he is the best fed dog, though. I country today. It's not often we head out to the steakhouse to enjoy a meal with our, our rescue friends. Oh, he's a happy guy. Oh, you're such a good boy. We had so much fun, Scrappy. Good there you boy. go. <laughs> Come on, Scrap. Hold your horses. Oh, you see a friend, don't you? You see.
see a friend. We had a great lunch today. Oh my goodness. I think the best he might have ever had. The concept that Deanna came up with for Pet Taxi really serves an unbelievable purpose because her goal is to keep animals out of shelters to begin with. And the Pet Taxi and Deanna have been an incredible help to Peggy Adams. I know you're happy to be home, but I'm gonna miss you so much. We had so much fun and Tommy's been training all day and this is a time in the day where we ask our dogs what they think about our potential pet taxi drivers and see if they give them the stamp of approval. Scrap. Scrappy. Come here. Hey, Scrappy. Hey, what do you think about Can I Tommy? Be a <laughs> do you think you like Tommy enough? Is he good with you? It looks like Scrappy approves of Tommy, but I'm going to keep a close watch for the rest of the day while he takes the lead, and we'll see how he does. Tommy, I think you've been awarded our pet taxi driver. Oh my gosh. I hope you'll Look, join Scrappy. us. Oh my gosh. All right, buddy. I'm going to miss you. I hope you get adopted today, okay? As long as you don't lose a dog on our watch, you might pass for the rest of the day. We have a long day ahead of us, okay? So I qualified so far. You're going to take over for the rest of the day. Can I get okay. to drive? It's all yours. Oh, man. All right, I'm ready to do it. Thanks, Scrappy. We'll Scrappy. see you soon, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I'm on this I'm, side. Excuse me. I'm used Don't to be that. trying to take my spot. <laughs> I worked hard to get this spot. You did. You've been sweating all day. We are headed to Dog World Resort to pick up Max. Max is a special German Shepherd. Max was saved from our Palm Beach County Animal Care and Control. He was severely malnourished as well as having heartworms and full of hookworms. Now, today, officially, he is off of heartworm exercise restrictions. He's been let loose into Dog's World to be playing all day, and we're headed to pick him up so we can see how he did. Dog's World is a full-service pet resort. We do doggy daycare, we do overnight in an extended stay lodging, and every day they're giving us different enrichment activities. I see Max. Hey, hi. Max. hi. Okay. Hey, buddy. Do you know who I am? Hey, Max. Hey. Hi. It's so great to see Max playing with all these new friends. It looks like first day of school was a big success. Oh, ready? Ready to go? Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We just met Max on Tuesday, and since Max was a rescue from a neglect situation, uh, we didn't know his level of socialization. So the first thing we do is we temperament test Max, and Max actually did great despite the lack of socialization. Uh, he made fast friends, he got into group right away, and he's been in play group within an hour of when he got here ever since. Let go, let go, Max. I think it's safe to say he's had a great day. Yes, look at this. <laughs> I think he has. This time is after a long day of daycare. <laughs> All right, we're getting you home. You got a new driver today, though. While many people believe they'd like to be a pet taxi driver, it's not meant for everyone. Max, let's go. You can't You're drive the pet taxi. Max. We deal with animals that are sick. We deal with animals that are scared of strangers. We deal with animals that don't like other dogs. Oh, you're really screwing things up. And for this reason, our drivers must be prepared for anything. Let's get this done, Max. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, let's go see Dad. Let's go see Dad. Hi, John. I'm Tommy. Now all the dogs are returned to their owners and everybody seems happy. The dogs are exercised and the parents are happy that they can spend quality time with their pets. Tommy did really good today and I think he'd be really good at this job. Maybe I can make him an offer he can't refuse. All right, what a day. I got to tell you, I'm exhausted, but it was so fulfilling. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Why do you have that look on your face? I don't think it's over. <laughs> this I is how we end our day. You those in your hand. And, um, yes, you I are do. our new guy. This is what we do at the end of every day. So the new guy gets to wash the vehicle. Absolutely, get to it. I'll be over here supervising. See, really? You gonna try that one, are you? You gave me the water hose. They say rescue takes a village, and it couldn't be more true. I spent the day with Deanna from Pet Taxi, and we saw one of those villagers make a huge impact in the rescue community. The bottom line is, she helps pets stay in their homes and out of the shelters.